Hi everyone, welcome along. This is the 19th of December and if you've just watched my live with me from what would have been yesterday, you'll see I've added a hat to differentiate the days. Um, now this probably will not be a very long video um, just because the live that I just did was probably nearly an hour long and it was lovely to see so many people and chat with so many people and I'm sorry if I missed your question coming through. We'll do another one another day. Um, and maybe next year and we will not next Flossmas but next year sometime um, and then we can go from go from there but it was really good um, I I went to do the live and the first thing it came up with it said um, we need to verify your account it'll take 24 hours before you can do live I was like no I need to do it now <laughs> but actually uh, YouTube managed to sort it out really really quickly almost instantaneously so they were lying to me they didn't need 24 hours at all uh, but it's there now for you to go and have a look if you want to. So you might see some of the same things that I've already showed yesterday, if you were there yesterday or if you've watched it back. Um, but I am going to just do a very short, uh, a short thing. And I'm going to show yesterday's freebie as well, just in case you um, you haven't watched the whole of the, the hour. And why not? So we'll start off with the House for Captured Children. Number 19. Number 19 is the big kind of balcony. So let's see. It takes a while to get your eye in. Oh, she's got a couple of toys. Oh, she's getting something out of her stocking. She's got a fancy cardigan on. It's quite a posh home for captured children. They're getting stockings and things in their stockings. She looks positively joyful skipping along there. Although she does look like she's about to fall out of the window <laughs> if you put the two things together. So there we go. There's the house for captured children. The stitching that I showed was very briefly my Prairie Schooler Weatherwise, which for those of you who remember me talking about the green, I was a bit concerned about the green. The green, now that I've added in some of the other colours, is looking fine. I think it will be fine. It looked really, really dark when I first did it, but I think it'll be fine now. And this is on Fabrics by Crafty Kate. This was the uh, November, November one. And I just thought it was like the perfect kind of colourways for this particular uh, piece. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to get both of them on there. I don't think I'll get the two smaller ones on. I'm not sure they'll fit. But I'm hoping to get both the big ones on. And I've also been stitching on my Luca S stocking. If only I knew where I put it. There it is. We had quite a lot of samplers out in the in the live so they're all still littering the littering the floor. So this is my stocking. I'm stitching and I just worked a little bit more up in that top corner by the window so what we've got here is obviously the red is the Santa's hat and then this is going to be a teddy bear so we've got a lot of browns going on at the moment and I'm not marking off on my chart either so um, yeah, sometimes it gets a little bit confusing, but that's my own fault. I just never mark off on a chart. The freebies that I've got, this is the one that I showed yesterday, which is the uh, Holiday Spirit by the Sampler Bird Stitchery. And it's a lovely little tree with, it says, joy, hope, peace, wonder, and believe. I really like that. I really want to stitch that one. And the one for today, is by uh, Romy's Creations. Now, for days, my printer has been telling me it's low on ink and I've been like, yeah, yeah, all right, whatever, whatever. Today, it's just printing green. <laughs> so maybe it was, it was telling me the truth, but I always like to make sure I get every last drop of printer ink out. So this is a really cute little design. This is red, merry and bright should be red. And it's kind of greens, yellows and blues uh, to make, a really lovely little pin cushion or a, a little ornament. Um, somebody was asking me, have I got many stitched ornaments on my tree? And I haven't really. 
I haven't. I need to dedicate a tree, I think. I need a whole tree of stitched ornaments. That's going to be my goal. Maybe not next year, maybe not the year after, but soon. Soon it'll be there. <coughs> right. Oh. Not a sponsorship deal, I'm afraid. Just a sore throat. <clears throat> Let's have a look at number 19 from the advent calendar. And number 19, another little tube. Pry Beauty Ageless Eye Tight Uplift Serum. Well, don't we need a gallon of that? For those of you that have not watched the live but um, are carrying on from um, previous, the previous floss tube, um, Ness is feeling a little bit better. Uh, Mum is feeling a little bit better. Chris is also feeling a bit better, but our house is still like a plague pit. Um, <coughs> I've woken up this morning with another bit of a sore throat. I thought I was through it, having had like the flu after half term and then the coffin and I was like oh not again not again um so I'm on the vitamin c the um fresh fruit and vegetables try to hold it off but that looks like we could still do with a gallon of that <coughs> what else have I got to show you I feel I should just show you one of the samplers that's coming next year. This one. This one's going to be released in the early part of next year. So this is A Burn Hope and I think she's from either very northern England or Scottish Borders area just because that's where the name sort of circulates from and the border pattern. The first thing I thought when I saw it was I thought Scottish but I think it may be very Northern England or very Southern Scotland. But this is going to be an early release next year. I feel like I just, I just need to keep you up to date. Keep you up to date if you've not seen the live. And then the very last thing is the Patchwork Rabbit <coughs> Advent Calendar. <laughs> I don't think I've got too much... Uh, <laughs> too much voice left so day number 19 I can't believe we've only got five more days to go I can't believe that I don't get one of these to open every day in January in February next year have you ever considered a whole year's calendar Patrick Rabbit a little something every day no I know there's some good things in the pipe work for next year though oh candy apple Look at that colour. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? That, oh, I bet that tree would look nice in green and then candy apple for the little baubles that are on it. It doesn't give you any suggestions, or does it? Oh, it does. Jelly roll. I don't know what colour that is. Let's just do our own thing. I might stitch this. I might seriously stitch this. Oh, the other thing I forgot. I have got a finish. Now, where is the little critter? There it is. Patrick Rabbit for the 17th was a little inchy. And so I stitched it. And it's just bubbled up a little bit there. Why have you done that? You were flat earlier. Just push it back down. There we go. Now this was designed by Carla from the Patchwork Rabbit. Beautiful little winter moon tower. I think it's just called wind, winter moon. I've left the stitch downstairs and it came with all the stuff to make this little decoration. So all I need to do now is just put it on a little bit of thread, a little bit of ribbon and we'll hang it on the tree. That was lovely. Have you got any more of those in the pipeline, Carla? Serious, maybe? A little set? That'd be lovely. I saw a couple of people have finished theirs. Somebody's actually coloured, I don't know whether they've painted or stained the outside of this, which was a great idea. But there we go. The little inchy's finished. And that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitchers.